Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a semi-automatic video using Viter and NVIDIA. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a semi-automatic video using Viter and NVIDIA. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to head over to Writer and log in. Then over here on the left hand side you want to scroll down and choose um, let's see blog ideas and outline and then you can go ahead and type in uh, this field. So let's see let's see how to How to stay motivated, let's see, when things are tough, All right? Then write for me. And what it's going to do is it's going to generate an outline. And from there, you can go ahead and expand it, All right? So here's the outline, how to stay motivated when you're tired and stressed, and then the next header is sometimes life gets rough and we need, we feel overwhelmed the next headline is uh, understand the difference between having a positive frame of mind and feeling hopeless and then it goes on and on now all you have to do to expand it is you highlight it and click on paragraph or control shift P and I'm just going to give it some time, and there you go. And let me just read a quick snippet of it so you can get a feel for the readability of it because it, it really sounds like it was written by a human being. Uh, there are a lot of things that can make you feel stressed and tired. It could be work, family, or school. Whatever it is, there are a few ways that you can stay motivated so you can keep going. It's important to try to find ways to spend your time other than the stressful activity that is causing the stress. If work is making you too stressed and it's preventing you from sleeping well, then go on a walk or do some yoga before bed. You should also try to find ways to get back in touch with what your body needs by eating well and getting enough sleep at night. All right, so that sounds perfectly readable. And now I move on to the next uh, outline, uh, next bullet point, and then I, I'm going to use a hotkey, uh, shortcut, shift, control, P. And it's going to move on. Okay. And, you know, the next line is we all have those days where we feel like life is too just too much. Sometimes it's just a feeling, but we may also experience some of the following depression, anxiety, f fatigue, mood swings, and insomnia. All right. So let's move on to the next one. Now, there are other things that you can do. You can go ahead and expand it. So let's say I wanted, you know, this wasn't really enough. I can go ahead and click on more and I can click on expand which will expand uh, this section right here let me go ahead and demonst demonstrate that for you all right so let's expand and then it adds a few more words all right you should try to find ways to get back in touch with your body by eating well and getting enough sleep at night not only will this help you feel better it will also make managing your health much easier all right so it added a few extra words in there um, Let's see. So for this one, I can now go ahead and and you know, let's see. Like with the uh, with this section here, I can go ahead and expand it. But I would have to add if I highlight it and you know this is blacked out. It means I need to add 30 more characters, right? It only has 10, so I have to. It has to be within 30 to 300 characters. So I just want to point that out. And it's not a problem. So let's say I wanted to expand this, and I can't because it's only 10 characters. Uh, I can just go ahead and expand it by adding, expanding the, the phrase, depression is um, serious, right? or depression is hmm, is in, on the rise, how about that, All right. so then I go ahead and I highlight it, still not enough, around the world. Uh, Okay, now it's 38, and there you go. Now you can go ahead and click Paragraph. 
Right? The World Health Organization released a study last week that revealed that depression rates around the world are rising. The study found that more than 300 million people globally suffer from depression, with the highest rate in North America, Europe, and East Asia. So that's how you go ahead and you can get around this uh, short bullet point. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's see, continue on with the next one by clicking on Paragraph. The other thing that you can do is you can shorten something if you if you choose to, but that's that's not really popular for me, right? But it might it's there. I just want to let you know it's there as an option. Okay, so the next one is just simple as easy as clicking paragraph. Of course, you can just you know it doesn't hurt to go ahead and re read it once through just to make sure everything's right. right. There is a difference between having a positive frame of mind and being hopeless, while the former is being is about focusing on what you have the latter is about focusing on what you don't have all right and then uh, here are the challenges another paragraph all right. and this is all done in real time so there's no like splicing or adding anything together you're you're getting to see what it's like to uh, get a feel for how long it would take to write a 700 800 word paragraph using this software that's completely unique and readable right? it would it's actually going to take you a lot a lot less time because i'm uh, explaining it right here as i'm going along also showing you the options but if you were to go ahead and do it this would probably take you maybe half the time right? and we're almost done All right, hold on, this one is a bit wonky. I'm gonna delete this. And then if this if the passage, you know, that, that it was generated, you know, doesn't really make sense or you didn't like it, you can go ahead and just redo it and it'll come out with something else. All right, that's why it's always good to give it a once over and read it. All right, so visualize how you achieve your goal. In order to be successful in my goal of becoming a copywriter, I will need to find work at a company that values creativity. I also need to pursue freelance opportunities on the side. I plan on using this book as a guide for how to write more persuasive and com compelling copy. All right, so not bad. All right, so basically you wrote an 870-word um, script because now you're going to take this, all right, copy it, and you're gonna go over to NVIDIA and you're gonna head over to, let's see, just click on NVIDIA, the main page, and then click on text to video. Right. And down here is gonna show you a whole bunch of different types of, um, you know, templates that you can choose from uh, th there's lots of good ones I kind of like the simple ones all right but I'm just gonna scroll down real quick so you get a feel of uh, the different types of templates you can use I'm gonna go with uh, this black one because it's it's pretty simple oops let me pause that real quick so I'm gonna, it gives you a sample of what it looks like in the preview as well as a uh, demo like a music soundtrack I recommend uh, taking out the soundtrack and using only YouTube Studios uh, music uh, playlist because that way you can't really go wrong. Right? And uh, oops, I forgot to copy the title. All right, so let me copy the title real quick. Go back, paste it, and then add everything else in here. Alright. It'll give you a warning if it's a bit long, that's okay. And actually I kinda like the other title. Let me copy this one and use this one instead. Alright. So then once you just paste it in, you click on next. Uh, they're going to give you a warning. It's too much text for one scene. Do you want us to rearrange it for you? I'm going to rearrange text. All right. So 
Oh, okay. Let, let me let me see if I can add my script here. No. So I guess you would have to separate it by spaces. Let me see. You, they used to do it for you, but maybe they take it out. All right. So I'm just gonna separate each scene by by a few spaces here. Okay. Give me one sec. Oops. Right, click on next and what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and use the text and try to match an image or video to that text auto automatically for you and normally this would take some time where you have to adjust the timeline and you would have to you know find an image and upload the image and it didn't look right so you have to upload another image and take the other image down and it takes a lot of time. This one, you just click and it finds it finds the correct image that's royalty free for you and tries to match it with the text. Sometimes it does a decent job and sometimes not. All right, but I'm going to show you exactly uh, what it looks like. You know, straight from just you know clicking the button and letting the AI try to find the images for you. All right, so just give it time to load. So the first thing it's going to do is going to populate the text all the way through okay as you separate it right and then later on it's gonna go ahead and scan for the images see you can see some of them already have the images added maybe it goes from top to bottom okay so insomnia has a little nice image there you know, fatigue that, 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 yeah, anxiety uh, and then it has a global study. I guess it has a, a map. Uh, that's not too bad. I mean, it has a picture of a uh, you know World Health Organization here. And all you have to do is just wait for it to to load. I mean, if it's a 800 page you know document, it comes out to maybe maybe 50 slides, and and it roughly about nine minutes and 80 84 second video. Oh, sorry. I take that back. Four minutes and forty-five second video. All right. That's uh. You have to be careful though because um, if you're adding like a uh, text to speech, which you can later on, I'll show you how to do that. Or you adding your voiceover. This is gonna go a lot longer. All right. So it's gonna take a while because it's it's scan like um, crawling around trying to search for the right image for the right text. And then, you know, with 50, 50 slides, it's quite a bit, All right? So, uh, let's see. And just to make sure that it's it's working, I'm going to refresh it real quick. Okay. All right, those are good. Those are good. Not yet. I might want to change this one. All right. So while I'm waiting, you know, if it's a smaller video, it won't won't take as much. But while I'm waiting, you can go ahead and uh, add add images to it. So let's say if I wanted to talk about stressed, I just go here and say stay motivated. Let's go ahead and type in the keyword. And it'll go ahead and find, like, uh, it'll try to find the, the images to match your keyword, right? And you can go ahead and select it. I, I like, uh, I like this one, right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and drag, drag it over here, and it's done. <laughs> That's it. And then next one, um, stressed. I like this one. Click it over here. Done. All right, look how easy that was. Down here. Um, 
you can go maybe this one here All right. and then so on and so forth All right all the way through and once you're done with this you can go ahead and go to the music section pick out different music tracks now I mentioned earlier that I would recommend not using the music track here and just using the YouTube studio one that's provided but that, that choice is on, on you All right, so if you selected that you can next one is the upload a logo okay and then uh, once all that is done you, you can go ahead and download and share everything and once you you know once everything's finalized it will just you can um, it will allow you to download it directly to computer and you can go ahead and upload it to YouTube and uh, let me just give you a quick preview of just the first few slides just to let you know what it looks like right. so this preview is going to be low resolution you know, because it makes it easy to load so I'm gonna say preview anyway Okay, so it's not completely loaded yet, but once it's once it's uh, done loading, the animation will work a little bit better. Right? And that's how you make a, a basically a video semi-automatically. Right? It doesn't, as you can see, the whole thing didn't really take that long. All I did was just, uh, you know, enter in one keyword phrase, let it generate the outline, let it expand the outline copy this and paste this script into NVIDIA and let it generate the images and then from there I just you know adjusted a few things and clicked on download so as you can see if you wanted to make low content publishing whether it's uh, low content videos like maybe mo motivational videos or uh, maybe some health nutrition videos things like that that, and that you don't want to use a lot of time to create then you know these two tools are perfect for that all right, so I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital No Menace, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.